So the water came up to here at the highest point. And Shannon Watson walks through what used to be her home. It's been sitting empty, unlivable for more than a year now. Black spots of mold line the walls, an ugly reminder of everything she's lost. It was my life, right? The smell was so bad, I had a headache instantly. She's one of dozens of flood victims trying to move on after last year's disaster. The Kettle River spilled into this neighborhood of Grand Forks. Now about 100 of these homes have to go as part of the city's plans to make the area a floodplain. The city received about a $50 million package, including funding from the federal and provincial governments. It's for flood mitigation and home buyouts, but it's under the condition that the homes are assessed at what they're worth after the floods, which in many cases isn't very much. In Watson's case, her property was valued at $150,000 before the flood hit. Well, they're only offering me 40. That's a $110,000 loss. I don't have another 25 years to do it all over again. You know, we have to look at our long-term financial security. The city says the priority is to save Grand Forks from future flooding. The mayor adds they're trying to find other ways to help residents, but he's making no promises. It is a disaster, and it's not our responsibility to make people whole. Experts call this situation unprecedented in B.C. and possibly Canada. I've never heard of an assessed value being taken after a hazard event. This disaster recovery expert says climate change is triggering more floods and fires. So while this may be the first such buyout, it likely won't be the last. We need to start being very clear with communities. Are we going to pay for you if you get flooded or can we do something now to help you move out of that flood zone, but do it in a way that is fair and equitable? But that may feel too late for people in a neighborhood that's about to disappear. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Grand Forks, BC.